Hi everyone. Hi. Am I audible? Can anyone can everyone hear me? I'm just trying to Okay. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. So uh, my name is Shamal. My Instagram handle is Hugs and Hues. Um, I'm not able to pin it on my comments, but uh, you should be able to see it once you are uh, once you see my workspace. Uh, today we are. I'm a watercolor artist, and I love painting florals, landscapes, illustrations. and miniatures you can see more of my work on my page uh, today we are going to be painting this uh, monochrome butterfly this is done with a single color using indigo indigo as is the primary color that i have used here uh, i have done it on menorah paper this is the paper that i am using today uh, this is a sketchbook from menorah it's 300 gsm 100% cotton paper and i find it ideal for watercolors uh, also i really like the size it's uh, 15 cm by 15 cm i really like the square square format uh i think we have enough of us let's get started uh, just give me a minute while i adjust my phone and then we'll get into it Okay um is it clear for everybody Hi art my life's passion uh, we are doing this monochrome butterfly today uh this is made of uh, we are I'm, i have used only a single color and that is indigo in this one Thank you so much travel with books thank you thank you combs thank you harsh hi priya hi thank you guys for joining me so much thank you kunal zoom in a bit um i am if i zoom in i am scared i'm just going to uh, ruin the orientation one second my art page is hugs and hues i am not able to pin it on comments uh let me try it again one second uh, let me try it again uh i just posted it in the comments i don't know how to pin it though okay so anyway here is my uh, instagram page If you guys have any questions you can post it I'll try to answer as many as I can while I'm painting if not then we I'll answer them when I'm waiting for the paper to dry So uh, we are going to start with this butterfly uh let's start with the sketching it's a simple butterfly sketch that I'm going to start with Hi guys hi everybody Thank you so much Mamta So in watercolors we try to keep the sketch as light as possible because the watercolors is a transparent medium and we don't want the pencil marks to show a lot. Um I've tried to keep it relatively simple. Also when we are doing monochromes um it's better to go for a darker shade like an indigo sepia or a uh, paints grey uh, all these work well for monochromes you are, we are able to get more tones and better uh, uh, depth in the painting with if we use a darker color so i've just made like a very rough sketch i'm not going to do too much detailing that we will be doing directly with the uh brush and uh, these flowers that i have done here uh, they are going to be done free hand without any sketching uh, 
Hi Preet, uh, no I don't do mandalas. I am mainly into watercolors and uh, I used to do acrylics but now I am, since I started watercolors I can't go back to any other medium. Okay, so let's get started then. Um, I've, uh, sorry I forgot to tell you what all materials we are using. So as I said I am using Menorah uh, sketchbook. It's 300 GSM, 100% cotton paper. Actually, I've used this sketchbook a lot and um, uh, this is uh, one of the paintings that I did. Also, this is done on menorah. This is a beach scene that I did and some loose florals. This is also done in monochromes. I was just practicing some monochrome florals and this one is it. This is also actually done, this is also a monochrome lily that I did uh, using indigo again. It seems to be my favorite color for doing um, uh, monochromes. Thank you, Abha. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started then. So as I said, uh, we are doing a small sketch here. And uh, these are the brushes that I'm using. Uh, you can use a size 4 or a size 6 brush, depending on the size of the paper that you're using and uh, a smaller brush for detailing. A size 0 would work fine for detailing. I am using silver brush. You can use any brush that you have. Okay, so let's get started. So mainly I am going to be doing uh, wet on wet for the wings of the butterfly. Uh, I just want to make the sketch a little lighter because it's. I don't want the pencil marks to show. Okay, so thank you so much nature is love. Okay, so we start by wetting one side of the petal. Uh, I really like this paper also because it has a nice texture to it and it takes water really well. That works pretty good with uh, this medium. Watercolor is the main medium, the main um, uh, thing in watercolors is the paper which can either make your painting or not so that the paper is very important so I am properly wetting just one wing of the butterfly just the upper wing I am wetting if you are painting along do let me know in the comments and if you decide to recreate it later don't forget to tag, tag me um, hi uh, Sony Sophia yes sure I can wait I will just go slow so I've just done a simple sketch for a butterfly and now I am, sorry if I'm going too fast. And now I'm just wetting properly one side, one wing of the butterfly. Hi Shraddha. Okay. So now when we start with, um, I have wet one side properly and now I'll start painting. So what I do is that um, I take uh, indigo color in a light watery consistency and I just drop it on the sides. I just want some indigo on the sides of the wings. Since I, this side is wet. Thank you so much Sona. Hi. So I am just wetting this side of since the uh, paper, since we have already wet this side, the paint is going to be flowing that way. Now I just rinse my uh, brush, remove the excess water on a tissue paper and just spread it out. I want the inside of the wing to be lighter and the outside to be darker. So that's why I am doing that. As you can see the color now, it, indigo is a beautiful shade. I never knew I would like it so much till I started doing these monochromes. Okay, uh, we can drop in a little more of the color on the wings to give it more depth here. Uh, when watercolor dries, it dries lighter than what you paint. So always remember to add little more color. Because it's always going to dry lighter. Hi 
हाय रेशु हाय शालिनी यू वुड बी सरप्राइज टू नो दैट आई स्टार्टेड माय वाटर कलर जर्नी विद वन ऑफ योर लाइव सेशंस लास्ट ईयर सो आई हैव बीन पेंटिंग विद वाटर कलर्स फॉर द लास्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर नाउ आई स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन लास्ट ईयर एंड इट हैज जस्ट बीन माई गो टू मीडियम it's i find it extremely therapeutic meditative and just watching the paint flow and blend with the water so as you can see here now we've got like this paper this side has dried so you can see how it has blended so it's blue color or you add any color to it no it's blue it's indigo blue i have not add any color again i am wetting the other wing properly hi sunita if you guys have any queries regarding the materials that i am using you can also dm me and i'll be happy to get back to you again i am dropping color just on the sides Thank you, Reshu. Thank you so much, Sonal. I really appreciate it. Okay. Again, I um, rinse my brush, remove the excess water, and just spread what I have here. Okay, so uh, my this side is of the paper is dry, and so we can get to the other wing. Okay, I think uh, I'm going to finish this much sooner than I planned. Thank you so much, Sunita. Thank you. Okay, so now I have wet the this wing again, and uh, since watercolors is a transparent medium and this side is completely dry, you will be able to see the wing that we have painted earlier through it. Again, the same thing. I have wet it properly with water. I am not taking any paint. Okay, so uh, again I take indigo and I drop it only on the edges. Uh, if you are looking, uh, if you don't want to use indigo, then you can use sepia. That also turns out beautiful. or you can use um, any other color which is uh, but i would suggest you to use something darker some darker shade okay so again we do the same drill i am moving this in line so that uh, it will look um, uh, as if uh, uh, because because in the details you can see there are lines in the wings so once it dries it will dry in the same way you will be able to see the same pattern so as you can see here you can see the wing here the one that we painted earlier since watercolors is a transparent medium okay so this side is done as well now we'll go to the fourth side uh how many of you guys are painting along if you can just write it in the chat box i would like to know Okay hi Kushi happy to know 
Please don't forget to tag me whenever you post your work. Okay, so again I have wet this side. Thank you, Prachi. Oh, happy to know Monisha. I hope you are enjoying it. I hope I am not going too fast. Uh, yes, this live will be saved. Oh. Okay, happy to know Sony, Sophia. I hope I am not going too fast now. I hope you are able to catch up. Okay. So now again, same thing. I dropped the color now, indigo. On the sides. Uh, so if you are new to watercolors, it's uh, so when I started my watercolor journey, I was using uh, 300 GSM paper, but it was not 100% cotton. So I used to not get the same result and it can be quite frustrating. Uh, so if you are a beginner with watercolors, I will recommend you to um, go with a 300 GSM 100% cotton paper. It's a little expensive, but uh, it's really worth every penny. And you can see the difference in the result. Thank you Komal. Uh, somebody asked about sketching. So here we have only done a simple sketch of a butterfly. I have not gone into too much um, details because I love painting loose. Um, I don't like to sketch too much. And uh, the flowers that we have done here are completely loose. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, Chadni, I am from uh, Gujarat. I am from Baroda. Okay, so let's just wait for this to dry for a second and uh, then we can do these details. For these details, I will be, uh, I will require a thinner brush. Uh, you can use a size 0 or even a smaller detailing brush if you have. Now when we go for the details, uh, I will need a darker shade of indigo. So I will not put in too much water in it because I need a darker color of indigo. Since we are using only one color, so this is important in monochrome. So now I am without adding too much water, I will go and do the details. So like you can see the veins in the butterfly here, this is what I am going to be painting now. Okay, that's great Chami. Hi. So I am just drawing these very thin lines. They don't need to be perfect, just a rough thing would be enough. Try to use the smallest brush that you have to get these details right because thicker lines won't really look nice here. Okay, and then there are these horizontal lines going to outwards. Same thing I do the other side. Thank you so much Shweta. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Okay, and the veins below. A little crisscross. So like you can see like the branches in a leaf, they are similar. Uh, I am not doing too many of these, just some light lines here and there. Okay, uh, let's do the center body of the butterfly here. So again I am using a darker shade of indigo that means uh, lesser water, more color. I try to leave a little white space in between.
and then I just take some water and spread it out. Hi Neve, hope you are doing well. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm just darkening this part by adding a little more color here. Okay. And now I'm doing the antennas. Here we go. So, uh, now that this part is done, we will do the outside uh, wings of the butterfly. So um, now I am using my um, same uh, uh, brush. So uh, the same smaller brush that you have, you can use the same thing. Uh, now in this I am not uh, putting too much water. It's, it's called a dry brush technique. I don't use too much water in it. I just take little water and spread what I have in my brush. I want the brush to be little dry for this uh, final detailing part. Thank you. Thank you, Samya. So now let's do this part. Uh, I mean it's up to you how much detail you want to add to the butterfly. If you want to leave it there it's up to you otherwise we can just add little more of these details. I'm just adding like little zigzag lines here. Thank you so much Sunita. I hope you are enjoying it. So I am just like I said I am not taking water at all now. There is just paint with a uh, paint in my brush and I am just making these details now. There are these few circles here and there that I will add. Thank you so much Shraddha. Thank you Art Beat Fun. So glad you all could join me today. So I am just making these small circles now. Okay, I think that's really good enough. Okay, so uh, now we'll uh, do the uh, flowers. And um, before we do that, I'll just show you on a rough paper how I have done these flowers. So then we can do it on the final piece. Uh, this what I have done is like pretty uh, loose. I have not done any sketching. So what I do is uh, I take my size 4 brush. Okay. I take my size 4 brush and I make these uh, dots in this semicircle. In a semicircle shape I dot these dots with indigo same color. Just done these dots. Now I rinse my brush, take very diluted uh, indigo, very diluted paint in it, with a lot of water, and then I just pull the paint and get this shape of petals. Uh, flowers are never perfect, and one flower is not going to be the same as the other. 
but it really doesn't matter because in the end uh, the result would still come out beautiful so we can just with now with a little darker uh, color i can just add a few more petals here and there so this is how i have painted these corn flowers and now i just draw the stem for the leaves i have just done the shape yeah so this is how we are going to be painting the flowers i have added some uh, gold details here with a gold pen which you can or you can not it's up to you so uh, let's get this okay so i'll make one here so like i said i make small dots in a semi circle shape thank you mahi in a semi circle i'm making these dots and then i just pull the paint down in this leaf shape here we go i add a little more color to the center thank you so much rishna so like you can see how the color flows into the petals that's my favorite part of watercolors and now i draw the stem i'd like to add a few more darker petals here don't be afraid of if the petals are overlapping it's fine it will add more depth to the flowers thank you urvashi okay so i'll just darken up this stem okay now let me make another one here Thank you so much, Rutika. Apsa, thank you. I hope you guys try it too. So I'm just uh, making these leaf shape patterns, and again, uh, I'll take some darker color and drop it here. The color spreads on its own, like. does its magic watercolors okay hi swati hi mahir thank you thank you so uh okay so let me make another one here now hi anisha uh the brush that i'm using right now is size 4 and uh, for the butterfly as well i think i used size 4 either 4 or 6 that works well for the detailing you can use size 0 okay so same thing now i'm just pulling the paint Again, I'm darkening the center part. Okay, let's make one more now. Let's make one this side and one here maybe. Uh. what another thing that i like about watercolors is that the same medium is can be used in so many different ways and everybody is using it their own way some people like to do extremely detailed work some people make extremely loose florals illustrations i mean the same medium can be used in so many different ways and that is what i really love about watercolors there's no right or wrong way 
so I'm just adding a few darker petals here and there and darkening the center okay and now I'll just add one more flower here So I start with the tip of my brush and then I press it down a little bit to get that leaf shape. Okay, here we go. I like to paint loose. Uh, if you see on my page most of the florals and um, uh, landscapes that I paint are loose doesn't involve too much of sketching okay so now uh, I'll just do the leaves again you can paint them the way you like so I just decided to keep it simple and just do an outline for the leaves thank you so much Urvashi you can use your smaller brush the one that I'm using is actually size 2 but it has a really good point okay um, thank you inside diaries thank you Shivani Swati thank you so much Now um, we can add these uh, like little uh, leaves here on the side and for this I have used a very, thank you Harsh, um, thank you Alka, thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys give it a try, it would really uh, mean a lot if I'm able to, if you guys are able to follow along and do it. So um, now the, the leaves that I have done here are done with a very light shade of indigo. So again I take the same color but I make it in a very watery consistency because I want it to be uh, seen like it's in the background and the flowers are in the foreground. I don't want the attention to go away from there. So here I am just adding, uh, like you can see there is no particular shape here. They are just, I uh, will just show you on a rough paper. So I have just taken one single uh, branch and then from I've, what I have done is this. These are like fillers and then I have just done this. Uh, so I have just done this kind of a thing. Uh, but as I said the color has to be very light. So a lot of water. So let's do this. So I'll just add it at random places. There's nothing uh, fixed. No right way or wrong. No right way or wrong way. Try to keep your hand loose uh, so that you get these loose strokes. Have you worked with posters? Mm, yes I have but now it's been a long time. Uh, I used to work with acrylics earlier but uh, since watercolors, um, have, like since I started painting with watercolors I have not been able to go back to any other medium now. So these are just fillers that I'm using to fill up this space. They can be overlapping, they can be going, not necessarily for them to go in one direction. And you will see like when the whole thing is done, it would come out to be beautiful. Okay, so 
so I'm just trying to keep it simple what's the brush number and brand uh, Pooja it is a size 4 from uh, silver black velvet if you need more details you can DM me and I'll I'll be happy to help you can we do the same painting with acrylic yes of course uh, so acrylics is also a water based medium uh, and of course you can give it a try with acrylics I would love to see your version with it ok and I'll just add a little something here so the size of the paper that I'm using is uh, 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter and um, I find uh, painting on a square shape like uh, I really like it so I really like painting on this paper from Menorah also I really like the texture of the paper and as you can see I have used a lot of this paper in fact there is hardly any left in this sketchbook I can show you some of my other monochromes uh, once we are done I think we will have some time left I can show you some other monochromes that I have done so I'm just darkening the leaves here because I feel they're looking too light. I'm just going over them with a little darker color. Yeah. Okay. So we are done here. Uh, we can add some splatters at the top. Also, hi Anushka. Uh, so uh, if you want, you can use a gold pen. Uh, like I've used a uh, gold pen here it's any gold pen that's available in stationery shop nothing particular so I have used a gold pen here to do some highlights and details and uh, it just makes the indigo more stand out it makes the indigo stand out uh, we can do that or we can leave it here as you guys say and let's add some splatters first that's the best part so I take my brush and uh, mix it nicely with the water and paint and then I just uh, I'll just cover up the butterfly a bit and then I'll just splatter ok let's add some more here on this side there we go So uh, maybe I'll show you the gold pen bit. I'll just uh, show. I can show in some butterfly and little part of the butterfly. Oh no! I think my tissue had a little red color. It's okay. So we can just add a little bit of gold here and there, and not exactly outline, but just uh, add a hint of gold to the petals as well. Uh, the gold goes really well with the indigo, and it makes the whole painting stand out. So I'm just taking a bit of gold pen and I'm adding it here and there. You can add it to some of the leaves also if you want. I think even without the gold it looks pretty nice. Thank you so much Combs. Oh, I'll be happy to see your version. Thank you Sunita. Thank you Poo uh, Pooja. Yes, it's going to be saved on IGTV. It's going to be on Menorah page. Don't forget to tag me and tag Menorah whenever you try it. Okay, I'm adding little bit of gold to the veins as well of the butterfly. Okay. Okay, I think it's really good enough now. Um, so, like I said, uh, uh, this uh, I hope you guys like it now we are done uh, I can show you some of my other monochromes that I did recently uh, 
So, like I said, this is uh, something that I did on uh, Menorah paper as well. Uh, this is again using indigo color. I made a white lily. Uh, this is a beach scene. Uh, this is again done. Uh, this is not exactly indigo. It's Prussian blue, but uh, it works similarly. Okay, so this is the butterfly that I did uh, with sepia. And this is the one that inspired uh, this painting that I did today. I just wanted to add a little. Thank you, Pink Wings. Uh, so I just wanted to add a little more to it since we were doing it in the live. So I decided to add the flowers. But uh, I think the sepia version looks beautiful as well. It's really simple and beautiful. Thank you, Kirti. Okay, so this is another um, monochrome. Again, uh, it's done using indigo. So I did a snow scene here. And uh, I used some white gouache uh, to add the highlights of the snow. Thank you, Harsh. And uh, another favorite of mine. Um, for this one, I had to use uh, masking fluid to cover the white area in the flowers. But I really love the texture that I got with uh, indigo. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, you can check out more of my work on my page and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh, yours, uh, uh, so I do no, uh, non-monochromes as well. So this is one of the forest scenes that I did. Yes, all blue. <laughs> That's purely by coincidence. But once I started working with Indigo, I, re I realized I liked it so much. Thank you, Monisha. So this is um, some of my other paintings, but you can have a look at my page for the other paintings. There's lots. Uh, oh, thank you, Monisha. I, I'll definitely do that. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, we'll be ending this live. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Mr. Burn 15. Um, Thank you, Pooja. So, if you, uh, if there's anything, uh, otherwise we'll be ending this live. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys give it a try. And uh, do tag me if you do. Check out my page. And thank you so much to Menorah for giving me this opportunity to paint. Thank you. Bye, bye. If there's any question, you guys can DM me. Thank you, Ginny. Uh, do you white pen uh, we can uh, do a white pen as well but i have taken gold in this i think the gold mm, looked really nice with the indigo but if you can if you want you can use white as well you can see the recorded video uh, ramya on uh, menorah page yes on menorah stationery page when I, once i end this live it's going to be saved once again show us today's drawings here is today's drawing Thank you, Sony, Sophia. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you were able to paint along. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye and stay creative. Stay happy. Uh, Pooja, this is 300 GSM paper from Menorah. Uh, it's 100% cotton paper, which is, I think, very, very important when you're doing watercolors. Um, it really it can uh, have a huge impact on your painting this is what we did today for all those who are asking okay do share uh, Sony okay bye bye thank you guys